Welcome my friends once again to the class style. From my house to yours, I am so happy to be in your company once again. So guys, I have gotten these two paintings. I'm not liking it all that much. My son um, gave me the framing. He said he thought I can do something with it. And this is um, this is a very light plywood and the framing for it think it's like a compressed kind of board like a cardboard strip but the backing is a, a like a one eight or a quarter inch ply i will be using my 599 brush <laughs> it is expensive and i am going to be using black paint so what i was thinking of doing is just covering the whole board with this black paint and it's an all-purpose paint it can be used on any surface and guys this is a what would you make challenge um open invite hosted by the lovely okay at home diy zena connie's creative creations and their co-host today is creating it myself all the information is going to be in the description box and the links to their channel do check out these very talented lady and also the playlist is also going to be provided below so guys i did two coats and what i'm going to be doing is running some masking tape you can use your painter's tape but mine ran out and of course masking tape is the other best solution for this and i'm just going to create some lines on the painting very simple painting technique I am using a copper, but actually this is a glass um, paint, but I decided to use it on this board. And I'm just doing very fine lines on the painting and I'm placing them at different angles. Now, when I'm doing any painting and I have like painter's tape or anything to remove from on it, I do not let the paint dry. I paint it on, leave it a couple seconds and then I pull the tape up. It, I find it gives me a crisp line and um, it doesn't allow it time to raise up the other paint that's on the board. So guys, I am sharing with you a line art painting. It is very trendy and, um, you know, it makes for a lovely wall decor. Very simple. Simplicity is sometimes always enjoyed it's relaxing and i thought that i would share this with you i do love painting i did art when i was a bit younger and i have recently started back doing my art because it's very relaxing to me and i thought this frame would do the trick now you can do any designs you wish to you can actually do the figure art which i had um, one week not too long ago uploaded that a girlfriend of mine had given to me but this is how it looks on the wall it's not the wall is not complete because my pictures of course are not the correct sizing for the, the space so I have to adjust those so I just hung it up for you to see how it looks where eventually I would want to place it but I have to get much larger picture for the center so these are how it's looking and i have another diy to share with you and let's head over to that one so guys i did share a toilet paper art with you before and i'm going to share another one with you and this is a wall another wall art of course my toilet paper rules will be using you can use um you know the rules that come from the long paper towels or even the foil and I've cut them in half inch pieces and my base for it is a ceiling tile I love to use these these have lovely texture on it and lovely patterns that's the these will over from our um, ceiling job that we had done you know when you're doing work on your house you have so many ends like of wood and tiles and ceiling pieces that you just don't know what to do with guys don't throw them away it makes for a lovely backing for a wall art so i'm just arranging my toilet paper strips pieces 
in the design that I would like to and then I'm just going to use my glue gun and set them in place and I will be finished so this is the design that I came up with and I'm just using the same toilet paper roll to make some spirals to enhance the picture a little more, the wall art. And I'm just going to be inserting it at intervals and finishing it off with those pieces that I'm adding in there. Now you just roll it up like a little S and do the same thing to the opposite side and I glue that in place. Of course, I will glue the whole piece onto the board. Guys, what I did, I spray painted it black and I'm using my bronze and copper to give it that lovely wrought iron look. And this is what actually lets it look like if it's really real, like wrought iron. And I love that look about it. So I'm just going to place it down onto my board and guys i am loving this so much so what i'm using is a one and a half inch by a quarter inch strip wood strip and i am going to do one straight and i'm going to do one mitered so i'm just marking off for the mitered piece now i have my strip and i'm just going to be using my jigsaw to cut those strips into pieces the first one is going to be the one that i'm going to be doing straight I'm cutting all my pieces and I'm putting it around the piece. Now this is how it sets on it. And I'm just going to use normal um, glue, my glue gun, to get that adhered to the piece. Of course, I'm going to have to sandpaper the edges because the edges are kind of rough. So I am going to just use my sandpaper and get that sanded down smooth to the touch. And I'm just setting up for the other piece that I'm going to be mitering. And I am going to mark it. You can use a mitering block if you have one. I don't have one. So I'm just putting my measurements. How I accustom doing my mitering. And I have all my pieces cut out. And I'm just going to sand that. Get it stained with walnut stain. And voila guys. You have a perfect wall art. Now I left the background white because I love how the colors pop on it. I'm just using twine and some hooks and I'm just going to screw that into the board and it went in very easy. I did go in with some wood filler on the pieces and this is how they look. Awesome pieces. Guys, I am so happy that you have stuck around with me. So let me share my lovely line art painting with you and this lovely wall toilet paper deco and do remember to check out in the description box for the playlist provided Zena, Connie and creating it myself wonderful bunch of ladies so I'll see you soon guys bye for now and I'll catch you later bye guys